everybody! I hope you're all doing well. I'm diving into a five minute soul journey session. I'm gonna go ahead and read the client goals and then we're gonna see what comes, okay? All right, says, I have had some confusing psychic experiences in the past. Most notably, a man coming into my life claiming we are together in another dimension. I had really strong feelings come up from this, but I also have my reservations as he claims to have troops and is fighting demons and evil stuff, and his 3D self isn't very mature. I've been thinking about this for years and haven't figured anything out. I recently felt it could be a love bite interference situation or possibly vampirism of a sort. I would love some insight on this person and our connection. Okay, give me just a moment here. I'm just going to absorb more of the information. That is definitely... I can't blame you for having some confusion about this. Okay. All right, I'm going to go. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this now. We're going to see what comes up. Thank you for sharing this on YouTube, by the way. Okay. Okay, well, I'm looking at you and you're in an orb. The orb is perfectly spherical and there seems to be some glitter in here on the bottom. It's red, white, and blue. And there's a, there's some sort of contraption and it goes whoosh, 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 whoosh. And it, it's just metal. There's like two metal pieces and they just kind of go around and around and around and around. What is like a bubble? You're inside of a bubble. This has got to go. I mean, this whole thing has got to go. You really are trying to make sense of something profound, but you don't have the tools to, to tap into what you're looking for. There's no doubt about it. You're actually sending sig signals out to the universe. I want to understand. I want to understand. But the best that you can, you can access is this thus far, okay? And I'm going to tell you, this is actually a good start. Because it shows me that um, that you're manifesting opportunities, manifesting a desire, a pathway. But this is this isn't this. We we need to we need to do this over again. Okay, <laughs> we're gonna revamp this. I'm not to the guy yet. Okay, we're just looking at you right now. Yeah, you don't want to let go of it. You feel that it's necessary. Did he ever do any energy work on you? I'm just going to throw it out there as an idea. I'm not necessarily convinced that you created this entire thing. Obviously, he jump-started your, your interests, jump-started an interest here and a search for clues. So in a way, he would have been part of the manifestation of this, which is also a good thing because his soul is giving you a gift. Don't look at it as a blood-sucking, nightmare-confusing, he turned me inside out, Actually look at it as, wow, thank you. Because what you've given to me is an opportunity of awakening. And I want to go deeper. I don't want to just look at the surface and play with these ideas. I'm not sure if these ideas are, are honest or that I resonate with them deep down inside of me. But I'm going to thank you, soul, this awesome guy, no matter what, what your experience is, his soul gave you a gift, okay? The gift is jump-starting getting to know something far more profound than you have yet tapped into. And it's a good thing. It's a really, really good thing. Okay. They're wanting... Okay, so uh, there's too many, too much information coming on here. I don't even know how to translate it just yet. I got to just focus on the contraption right now. Okay. Yeah. And they're telling me... So obviously there's a sensation of heartbreak here. So that has to be reconciled. You don't need to carry any type of feeling of heartbreak. Did he break your heart or was there something in the interesting aspects of what he was sharing that captivated you? Was it him that captivated you or was it what he told you that captivated you? So is it a true heartbreak or is it a break in the captivation? 
So you were captivated and it created an experience, an orb of, of a universe of, of exciting explorations, thoughts, ideas. And now it's like a bottle that just got tossed in the street and shattered. So did he break your heart or did he break your captivation world, captivating world? This is big because as I go deeper into your energy field, I this is kind of the grosser part of the feelings and you need some hugs big time. Because the only way for you to actually grasp how truly wonderful the gift is that he gave you is you got to reconcile the feelings that hurt, okay? Because because to get to the gift, to get through, to get to reach this gift, you, you know, you, you're processing the experience. But I'll tell you, he's here to awaken you or open your horizons, to encourage you to step into a pathway. I, Abby, I'm not going to talk about spiritual warfare or alien beings that are trying to control the human race and all that stuff. It doesn't matter. It seriously doesn't matter. So if reptilians uh, control the human race and are, you know, um, mind control, etc., I don't care. Because I am connecting with my identity, with my soul in this very unique experience called Earth. And I'm a human being. And I'm not going to let that bother me. That's their experience. I just happen to be having this experience. And this is what I want to do with my life. And I'm okay with it. Total acceptance. And I'm not going to worry about it. I'm not even trying to make sense of it. It's not for me to make sense of this. So don't worry about it either. Don't worry about it. I, I would just, whatever he's concocted or created that can be captivating and you want to know more about it, a lot of that stuff is just the jump start into opening up to something much more extraordinary because it's still very superficial. It's still, you know, the most important thing we could look at right now uh, is, is spiritual warfare, psychic attack, reptilians, etc. That's like the least most important thing. That is like zero matters. It doesn't matter at all. So, so that's also a clue. Don't put all your energy and attention into that. And just remember, his soul actually gave you a gift. It's a doorway to open up to, to you to open you up to something very special. And it's warm and it's loving. It's self discovery. It will heal your heart. And this will be. This is just a little bit of a bump in the road. Okay. I can tell that you got a lot of hurt inside of you. You know, does it feel kind of like you've been had? Does it feel kind of gross? Does it feel, you know, does it feel kind of gross like that? Because it kind of feels, it feels, it feels mucky to me. It feels like a muckiness. And to go in there and heal that would do you a lot of good. <laughs> all right, that's all I can share. Thank you so much. It was a true blessing to connect with your soul today. Thank you for sharing on the YouTube for everybody else to, to join in the experience. And for those of you watching, if you're interested in exploring a psychic session with me, please visit me at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. I hope you all have a great day.